There is a fresh wind of change breezing through Welshpool at the moment. The Town Council has adopted a new plan that places a major onus on biodiversity that will transform areas of the town into nature havens. You can see that this part is diverse. There's all sorts of flowers growing in here and on a sunny day it's full of insects. Lots of different things. That side we haven't touched and you can see that it's bland. There's nothing there. Welshpool's change of attitude towards nature is being driven by Mayor Alison Davis, who says the town can become a leading light when it comes to the environment. The Environment Act Wales requires Welshpool Town Council to do certain things and we need to make our area more resilient and that means that it is engaging with nature. So that's one thing. The councillors we have, many of them really care about this. And so it's been um, not a difficult change. People have wanted to do this. Many of them have wanted to. And then on top of that, a lot of the work that we've done has been because the people that were consulted, because the people who were going to do it, were the staff. So our action plan is led by the staff because they're the ones that put it into action. Money has been secured through various sources to create biodiverse havens across the town. So where else can we expect to see nature thrive over the coming years? Well, um, we've got allotments here and behind the hospital, which we are preparing at the moment, but those will be let. We have a waiting list for allotments and those will be let uh, later this year, we hope by the autumn. And so there's those, but also as well as this grant here, which as I said, was through Keep Wales Tidy, local places for nature. We managed to get another local places for nature grant through Powys County Council from the Powys Nature Partnership. And then with that, we bought um, plants uh, which we've planted at um, the playgrounds. We've got, we've got them at Dolavellin. We've got them at a little Henvice Lane. Um, also the country park and we've planted around the tourist information centre, the grounds, grounds around there and also we've put some down by the Gorseth stones as well um, and we've, we're trying to make the town um, come alive in the spring. It will take a while because these are, these are wild flowers and it doesn't all happen in one year but we're planting more and more and we're excited by it. So we are changing how we're looking after our land. Um, and the other thing that we're doing is just as we've got an interpretation panel here, we're putting those up in all the different places as well. And they're bright and they're informative and it means that people can, can find out about what they're seeing. But the mayor knows that without the support of the people of Welshpool, the Town Council's projects are no more than a sticking plaster covering a major environmental wound. What can people do to help? What can individuals do? Or businesses or, or groups? Yes. Well, there's all sorts of things. For a start, as you've probably seen, we had no Mo May. We followed that with Let It Bloom in June. And we followed that with Knee High July. Now, after that, we've all got to cut the grass at some stage, but this has given biodiversity a chance. All it needs is the space. Um, another thing people can do, we're very fortunate that we have Swifts in our town and modern building methods and modern ways of insulating old houses mean that we cut them out. We don't make space for biodiversity. So we can fit boxes, we can fit Swift boxes, we can um, have bat boxes up, we can have areas where hedgehogs can go. We can not fence our gardens as if it was cold it's so that the wildlife can move from one place to the next. There's all sorts of things that we can do and it doesn't have to look like a wilderness. This area is wild. We're not suggesting that people leave the gardens like this, but you can still attract wildlife to your garden. 